America knows the pain well, and the pain runs deep as cameras capture viral moments that raise questions about policing and race, the deaths of black people, the cries for justice, the names that spark movements. In 2012, 17-year-old Trayvon Martin walks into a 7-Eleven in Sanford, Florida. He grabs a bag of Skittles and a can of Arizona iced tea, wearing a dark gray hoodie that would become a symbol to many. As Martin walks home, he encounters George Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch volunteer who has already called 911 to report Martin's movements, even though the team had done nothing wrong. Something's wrong with him. Yeah, he's coming to check me out. He's got something in his hand. Minutes later, after a fight between the two, George Zimmerman shoots and kills Trayvon Martin. No justice, no peace! Zimmerman charged with murder but a jury finds him not guilty. His death and acquittal sparked national outrage, and a movement is born. Trayvon was a people's person. Yeah. He didn't deserve to die. Yeah. And I pledge I will not let my son die in vain. Yeah. July 2014. 43-year-old Eric Gardner, a father of six, is allegedly selling loose cigarettes illegally on Staten Island in New York. Officers surround him to make an arrest. I'm minding my business. Please just leave me alone. Officer Daniel Pantaleo is seen wrapping an arm around Gardner's neck before pulling him down to the ground. As Pantaleo forces Gardner's head into the sidewalk, Gardner is saying, He dies shortly afterward. Five years later, Pantaleo is fired after it is determined he used a chokehold banned by the NYPD. But long before that day, Gardner's last words become a national cry for help and social justice. I can't breathe. August 2014, 18-year-old Michael Brown is shot by a police officer. His death sparks days of protests and riots in the city of Ferguson, Missouri. While the city burns, two narratives emerge. One that Brown was unarmed and surrendering when he was shot. The other story from Officer Darren Wilson is that Brown was told to get out of the street and during a confrontation, the team tried taking his gun. The officer says he feared for his life when he shot and killed Brown. This time, the cry is the chant, hands up, don't shoot. As thousands pour into the streets to demand justice, the officer is not charged. We have had enough of all of this, and this change must come. In October 2014, Laquan McDonald, a black teenager, is killed by police in Chicago, shot 16 times by an officer who'd arrived at the scene seconds before. Though the officer claimed self-defense since McDonald had a knife, an autopsy shows some of the shots entered McDonald's back while he was turned away. The incident sparks protests in Chicago when police dash cam video is released more than a year later. The officer, Jason Van Dyke, is found guilty of murder. 16 shots in a cover-up. There was a guy that was a pistol, you know, I saw these things. He's like pointing at everybody. November 2014, 12-year-old Tamir Rice is playing with a toy gun at a park in Cleveland, Ohio. When officers are called, an officer shoots Rice seconds after arriving. Grand jury declines to indict the officer. The prosecutor saying the evidence did not indicate criminal misconduct by police. In April of 2015, North Charleston, South Carolina, Walter Scott was pulled over for a broken brake light. An eyewitness captured the tragic outcome. Walter Scott was shot and killed by Officer Michael Slager who was later convicted and sentenced to 20 years for murder. Later, in April of 2015, the city of Baltimore is rocked when Freddie Gray dies in police custody. The 25-year-old black man's arrest is caught on video. The Baltimore Police Department charges Gray for possessing a knife after being transported in a police van. Gray falls into a coma and is taken to the hospital where he dies later of a spinal injury. Over the next few days, the city is brought to its knees with residents demanding to know what happened to Gray. None of the officers involved in Gray's arrest were convicted.
In 2015, Sandra Bland is pulled over for a minor traffic violation by State Trooper Brian Encina. You mind putting out your cigarette, please? Come on. I'm in my car, but I have to put out my cigarette. Well, you can step on out now. Their exchange escalates, resulting in Bland's arrest. The video shows how quickly the interaction turns. Get out of the car! And then you I will light you up! Bland is found dead in her cell days later. Her death ruled a suicide. In July of 2016, Philando Castile gets pulled over. His girlfriend, Diamond Reynolds, and her four-year-old daughter are in the car when she starts using her phone to live stream the interaction. Officer Geronimo Yanez opens fire, killing Philando. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. The community rallies behind the Castile family, a beloved school cafeteria supervisor. The officer is charged, but later found not guilty. He wasn't no criminal. My baby was a good man, a good hard-working man. Then another tragedy in September 2018 unfolds in Dallas. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. 26-year-old Botham John is shot and killed by Dallas police officer Amber Geiger while sitting in his own home. So I'm calling on the Dallas officials. Please, come clean. Give me justice for my son. A jury later found Geiger guilty, and she was sentenced to 10 years for murder. In March of 2020, Breonna Taylor, an EMT, and her boyfriend Kenneth Walker are in her apartment in Louisville, Kentucky, when just before 1 a.m., three plainclothes officers arrive to execute a search warrant in a drug case. Taylor and her boyfriend think someone is breaking in when police kick down the door. Kenneth Walker grabs his legal firearm and starts shooting, hitting one officer in the leg. Officers, you have your fire. Officer officers return more than 20 rounds, killing Breonna Taylor. Incident after incident, year after year. Tearing at the hearts of black people. I can't breathe. They look for a balance from the justice system. No justice, no peace. The stories, the names, well known. The pain runs deep. Brian Young, CNN Chicago. And now we have.